Question 14. So these questions, they take a little bit of getting used to, but they're not as hard as they look. Um, so part A, we need to show this bit down here. Right, we're told a little bit of information. So the key bit of information is these two things just did. So let's write down what we know. Okay, So we know the volume of the water is 24 times the height, right? 3 times 8 times the height, right? So we've got that bit. Now the other thing, now this is the bit that takes a little bit of practice in terms of writing down, is that we can write dv over dt. So this is the, the change in the volume over time. What does it tell us down here? So water is flowing in at 0.48, and it's flowing out at this rate. So the change in the volume is simply this. Okay. Now let's think about well, what, what could we write down from here? Well, dv over dh. Let's just get that confidence of just thinking, well, okay, I'm not really sure what to do here. Let's just let's just write down what we can. So that equals 24. Now the next clue is really in where we're trying to get to. Look, there's a dh dt there. Okay? So think about how we're going to get that from these things. So if we were to combine these together, remember these it, it, like chain rule just works a little bit like fractions. If I write that one, that's equal to dv over dh. That's the what that one multiplied by, so what's the one that's missing? Wait a minute, dh over dt. They kind of effectively cancel out, okay? I've got dv over dt. Right, so now let's fill in the stuff that we know. So dv over dt, so that's this one here. So we're going to write this one. So we've got 0.48 take away 0.1h. And then that equals... 24 times dh dt. Now, you could just leave it like that. That'd be fine, but we've been told to get it like this. If you just multiply both sides by 50, okay, remember you can do whatever you want to side of an equation, and then we'll come out with this just here. All right? So we get our 24 take away 5h equals 1, 2, 2, 0 dh dt there you go right that's four marks right just for doing that bit just there right now part b now part b says show that according to the model we get this but it also tells me given that when the tap was open the depth of the water in the tank was two meters so when time is zero we're going to come back to this the height is two Right, so how are we now going to make use of this here? How are we going to make progress? Right, this is a it's differential equations. So what we actually need to do on this part is going to end up doing some integration. If I divide both sides by 24 minus 5h, we get this just here. And then I'm effectively going to multiply by the dt. There we go. What's that remind you of? That reminds you of a bit of integration. Then. Okay? I'm going to integrate this side with respect to t, this side with respect to h. That's what we can do. All right? Now, I suppose the problem with these questions is you don't always recognise that that's what you've got to do. All right? It does take a little bit of practice. And the more of these questions that you do, you'll start to see this. So what do we have now? Well, if I integrate this side, I've got t equals. Now, integrating this bit here. Well, what you should know is that if I were to integrate, um, right, if I differentiate 24 minus 5 eighths, that's minus 5. If I were to integrate this, 
I would get ln 24 minus 5h, right? That's one that we've looked at before. Now, this is actually minus 240 times bigger. So our answer is simply going to be minus 240 times ln 24 minus 5h. Now, the bit that people tend to forget on this question is that when we integrate, and it's not between limits, is it? Don't forget, there's a plus c. Now we need to know, we need to work out what this plus c is. Now remember that t equals 0, h equals 2. So let's just go and put that information in. All right. So we're going to write 0 equals minus 240 ln, so 24 minus 10, so that's 14 and plus c. So what's c? Well, c must be the positive of this. So we can write down, so c equals, I'll just put it aside over here, I'm just trying to fit everything on one page for you, um, ln 14. Right, let's write where we've got to now. Right? So we've got t equals, now I've got minus this one and plus this, so I'm, I'm going to write that one first. Okay, it's just neater to have a positive at the beginning. So we've got 240 ln 14 take away this bit. Now these they, they look really, really hard, but actually they all kind of sort of fall into a, a similar idea, similar pattern as you're working through. Right. Okay. Oh wait a minute, 240 is a common factor, isn't it? So we let's deal with that. Let's just do all the obvious things, so take that out. So t over 240, that equals ln... Oh, wait a minute, we've noticed something else here. I've got ln 14 take away ln 24 minus 5h. I can write that like this. Just trying to write ln once. Okay, now, oh, I wish the ln weren't there. Wait a minute. If we e both sides, what are we going to get? We're just going to get this. Equals 14 over 24 minus 5h, right? We've done, we've done the hard work now, all right? Now remember where we're trying to get to. If you think about what the question was again, we're trying to get to something in this form, right? So it's got no lunds in it, but it's got e's, right? So we just need to rearrange. You get h equals. So let's multiply both sides by our denominator here. So that gives me 24 um, e t over 240. Take away, and then we've got 5h times this. Oh, there we go. 240 equals 14. Don't really know why I multiplied that out, because I'm only going to take this Right, so what we're going to do is, wait a minute, we want to get h equals, don't we? So let's take that away from both sides. All right, I did need to multiply that out. All right, so we're going to take that away from both sides. So that gives us this. Equals 14 take away 24e to the there. And now we're going to divide by minus 5e to the t over 240. So that'll give me h equals, it's going to look a little bit horrible to start with, but don't worry about it. So 24e to the 240, and then that's over minus 5e e again. So, whoops, not mind that. Minus 5e. Okay. A little bit of fractions work, all right? So what have we got? I've got 14 over minus 5. So I'm going to write it the other way around because then that's going to be the, the negative there. And then that's going to be e to the minus t240. And that one's going to cancel that one. Negatives are going to cancel. So I'm just going to left with 24 over 5. And there we go. Whoops, just gone over my line above. And that's what we need to get to. 
Right, and if you look at where we needed to, what we were trying to do is, so we've got A, that's that bit. I would just write down what A is and what B is and what K is. So we've got A, let's just jump down. A equals 24 over 5. B is this bit here, so minus 14 over 5. And K, it says minus there, so I didn't need to worry about putting the minus in. So K is equal to 1 over 240. There we go, right, there's the hardest bit of the question. Now the last bit, just a bit of interpretation. So let's have a little look, see what it says. It says, so given that the tap remains open, determine according to the model whether the tank will ever become full, given reasons for your answers. Now there are two marks for this, right, okay, so we've got two marks here. So let's think about what we can actually do here. Well, let's think about as T gets really large, right? In other words, it's going to approach infinity. What's, what's going to happen to this figure just here, right? If that's like a really, really, really big number, basically, the answer there is going to be zero. So, if that were the case, then the height would be 24 over 5, effectively minus zero. Well, that's, that's 4.8, isn't it? 4.8 is less than 5, okay? So that would be okay. So I think I'd give, um, so if you write like one mark there, um, you could also comment that if you try to sub in 5 here, so the equation can actually, right, cannot solve for h equals 5. It won't work. Another thing that you could look at that's kind of quite a nice thing is that if you look back up here, this is talking about how the volume changes with time. So 0.48 take away 0. So that would be 0. 0.5, wouldn't it? So that would give you... So if we think about how the volume changes with time, that would give us 0. 0.48 take away 0. 0.5, which is going to be a negative, isn't it? 0 0.02. So, so it would be emptying. So it can actually get up to this figure of h equals 5. So do look at that question really carefully. Um, it's not easy, but actually when you get the idea, it's really not as bad as it looks.